Hi, it's Rachel here from Charlotte's Bed Paper Craft. Um, I've just got a new sample box in from Kaiser Craft. Um, it's really great and it's always exciting to have a new sample box because we get to see what's coming up for the next few months. So even though at the end of December we have this box, we have February, March and April's collections. So this might just give you a bit of an idea of the names of the collections coming up. We've got Now Boarding coming in February, Hello Sunshine and Telegraph Road. Then in March we are going to have Limelight as a collection, Bluebell. In April we're going to have Kaleidoscope, Honey Chai and Happy Snaps. So in a minute I'm going to go through the boxes but I'm really sorry guys for March and April you're just going to have to wait a short time because we can't release them to you just yet. So today we're going to go through February's collection so that you can have a quick look and you can pop in your pre-orders to us. Okay, so um, this is the 2014 catalogue. I might go through that in a little while and perhaps also just show you what are going to be the standard lines, the core collection for Kaiser Craft in 2014, just so you've got a bit of an understanding what you'll be able to find in our store. Now as we get each new collection or each new month comes along, we'll get a new workshop magazine and this is the one for February. So this on the front has got our now boarding collection in it um, as, as well as some new additions that we're going to talk about. So it will have some pages with some ideas for you. Then it's going to have your Hello Sunshine collection in it. And then also towards the back, past the Hello Sunshine, it's going to have Telegraph Road. Of course, they're great magazines because they always give you little examples of how to do your layouts or your projects. And even better, when you come into the store, they're free. So I'll pop that away. Okay, so... The part I suppose I found with Kaiser the last few years is that we have these collectible packs. Now often the packs have over 50 pieces, um, so 50 pieces for you to mess around with, little die cuts, they all match the collection. Then as a part of that you've got your six and a half inch paper pack. Your six and a half inch paper pack has all your um, sheets that are all reduced in size. So if you don't like the size of a sheet that comes in a 12 inch sheet, you'd like it a bit smaller because the pattern's a bit bigger, you've got that there. Also on the back it shows you the shape of the 28 die cuts or so that come in a pack. And so that is the sheet. And it shows you how they're set out and what you can expect inside your pack. So I'm going to flick, hopefully slowly enough, through this box to just give you an idea because you get two of each sheet of paper in this small kit. It's great for making cards. It's great for your centres of your 12 inch layouts. That's good for cards that's got small text. That's great too. But if it's got a bigger design, it's really quite good for being in the centre of a 12 inch layout and you can just use that section of it. So the idea of this one is about going on a holiday. Uh, it's got photos and maps of around the world, things that inspire you about being away, although I'm not quite sure about this appearing red brick wall. This one's got compasses, all types of little bits and pieces through it, aeroplane theme. So I'm just going through to show you, and then I'll show you what makes up the die cuts at the back once we get there. That looks like an airmail stripe on your letters. Okay, so there's a die cut page for you. So you can just pop the die cuts out and uh, you can see on the back they're perforated. You can just free pop them out and put them straight onto your projects or your cards. So it talks about journeys and holidays. So this one's a great one for journeys and holidays. 
I'm really quite liking this collection because it suits our store in particular that it does have that vintage kind of look. So from here we might move on and I'm just going to show you some of the 12 inch pages. Okay, so each 12 inch page that comes from Kaiser has a, um, on the title strip, it will tell you what the page is called. This page is called Terminal. So like all Kaiser pages, it's double sided. So on the back, sometimes it will have a title strip that you can cut off. This one says the perfect holiday. So often Kaiser try to make bits and pieces and pages that actually all blend in with colours together. And this one actually is a good credit to them because it's got that old world look and the colours are not too um, vibrant and opposing. Just going back to this one, this one's called Cabin Crew. It's got small aeroplanes, boats, that type of thing on it. Um, I'm not sure if we can just zoom in onto it a little. Um, it's got passport stamps and world maps. So that's quite a, a cute one, even for card makers, because it's not too big of icons on there. Okay, then we go on to this one, which is called Boarding Pass. Um, this reminds me of another brand, um, and I'll just say who it is. Um, Seven Gypsies have quite a bit of tickets, tags, and that type of thing in their collections. And I'm a bit of a Seven Gypsies fan, so I'm quite liking that one. Okay. On the back, it's got an old world map. So that one is called Boarding Pass. Then we've got Check In. I'm really loving the colours in this. Similar to the uh, Hidden Treasures colours. Um, it's got that sort of blue-grey uh, in it. Um, lots of passport stamps of places you might go, although the reality is we don't tend to get passport stamps anymore. Some airplanes on the back. And on the title strip, it's got some small luggage. Okay, page is itinerary. Now you can scrapbook this page just as it is. You can cut strips off as you need to. So you can cut a section this way off, or you can just cut this section that says our adventure and use it to your advantage. So again, it's a great way of using the paper. Okay, if we flip it over, it's got lots of words, uh, sentiments and things to do with travel. Um, the word bon voyage comes up in there, getaway, the perfect getaway, uh, away we go together. So that's a great one, and that's got that lovely blue-grey colour in it, so I'm really liking that. And of course, if you're looking for a double layout, that comes up perfectly, that the next page is called Luggage Carousel. It's very simple, but it has got some luggage. It's got a world map there. Um, yeah, just in the words, Bon Voyage again, so a very practical piece of paper. On the back, it's got some old-fashioned cameras, your little box brownies and the beginning of your SLR cameras. So I'm not sure if I can pick that up in there, but it's got your hinged cameras as well to start with. Again, it's a nice small pattern. It is something you can use on your cards, so it's great to check out. Title strip, it's got compasses, that blue-grey just joins the whole thing together. This page is called Airport. Um, it's got that really... Um, tomato, deep tomato red colour to it. The little graph or the pattern on this looks like your underground train maps. Uh, a little bit like the subway would be in London. Um, it's really, it's quite a nice paper. Uh, you can scrap straight onto this or it's great for cards. Other side, we've got an old world map. Um, it looks like the Antarctic there. So uh, that's quite an interesting one to be using for all types of things, scrapbooking and your card making projects. Okay, next page we come along to is called Sale. This is one of your pages, you can cut these pieces out, these pieces fit perfectly onto cards or perfectly into your project life projects. So you can cut them out, Kaiser do have the uh, pocket album system you can pop them in there and you can pop your three by four photos in the other pockets and you can have a project done very quickly with these and on the back we've got the chevron look uh, chevron seem really popular um, and again it's got the, all the colors that encompass the range 
it's got some little passport stamps on the reverse of the title strip so again you can get the most out of every sheet of paper the next one we've got is called <coughs> departure lounge these are four by six or six by four inch um, panels basically they're the same as the photos that you take and have developed the standard photo size so you can trim these again the pocket um, pages in the albums these fit perfectly in the pocket pages these have great little panels in them you can put your journaling in them or you can go back to your collectibles and you can add collectibles onto them to just give that pictured look again it makes slightly bigger cards but again it just depends on what your style is and how big the cards are you like to make um, they would only just be standard Australian postage of this uh, again it's got small luggage it's got your airmail strip around the side it's got some airplanes in the back of the title strip again it's got that historic vintage look that I love so much and sells so well in our business so next we're getting onto a specialty sheet of paper and of course with all specialty sheets of paper that Kaiser make um, they are one-sided this is a gloss sided sheet, it's got lots of tickets um, on it, sentiments, things like explore, family and friends, memories from our holiday. Again, you can scrap this page just by itself or you can take small pieces off to use for card making or to put on your albums, the choice is entirely yours. So on the back, it just has the description and the code. This one is called Ephemera, uh, which is like collectibles. So that is the page from the Kayser collection. Here's the sticker sheet for now boarding. Uh, look, the sticker sheet, quite diverse. There are two, so I might as well show them to you side by side. One will have your alphas. It's got all your little elements from within the collection. It's got your aeroplanes, your tickets, uh, your passport stamps. Um, all the things you might need if you're a journaling person it's got your Monday to Sundays it's got your months of the year um, those types of things so you know you can use it on cards you can use it in your scrapbooking it's really entirely up to you normally in a Kayser craft collection another specialty sheet of paper will be a um, die cut sheet of paper in this case, the die cut sheet of paper is just a circle. Um, that circle can work quite well that if I just flick back and grab one of our more plain sheets from the collection, and as I'm doing that, just to give you an idea, if we go back to this one that's called Airport, you can sit this on top and get a lovely contrast. Again, it's a one-sided sheet from Kayser, so it does have the name on the back, which is Compass. So you can pop this on any sheet. You know, you can do all types of things, like use it half and half, and use half on one side of a layout and half on the other. Really, you're not limited to anything. Your collectibles can go over the top, and, you know, you can put the page and have a feature photo in the centre if you like, or just use the words off of your sticker as like a title page to your project. So that's the end of the Now Boarding Collection, and in a moment, sneak peek from underneath, we're going to go on to some Hello Sunshine for you.